Notre Dame uh, you know, team, Jeff Jackson, Paul Pooley, you know, Andy Slager team are going to get those breaks we did early and, um, and we capitalized on them. We haven't scored a lot of goals this year. We've been around three or four and those you know, went our way early on. And, and then the toughest thing is when you're up and holding a four or five goal lead is just keeping your players focused. At times, I thought we got out of our game plan a little bit and tried to do a little too much and didn't execute, and then we were able to bring them back a little bit, and then um, you know, we, we continue to, uh, when we forechecked well, we created some opportunities for ourselves and got some goals. And uh, It's one night. It's obviously going to be a much different night tomorrow night. Uh, they're a very good hockey club. We just got some breaks early on, and, and we know that uh, tomorrow night's going to be a war in here, and we've got to be mentally and physically prepared for tomorrow night. But overall, obviously, we're pleased with, uh, with the victory when you beat a team uh, that's, that's as good as they are. Uh, we just got we got we caught them on a, on, a, you know, the, on a good night for us and a tough night for them. But uh, and that's a sport. And, uh, we drop the puck in tomorrow night at uh, 7 o'clock, and we battle again to see who's better tomorrow night. What do you say to your team after you know you win nine to two, and then you have to go and reset for tomorrow night? You're riding this big high. What do you say to your team to you know to reset them for tomorrow? Night? Yeah, it's a win. You, you say good effort, congratulations. But that's you know, at twelve o'clock midnight, that game is in the books, and you know, we're looking forward. And tomorrow night is going to be another night, uh, and that's the greatest thing about our sport, where uh, you don't play. You, you, you play consistently. You, you don't have a week off. Uh, you, you don't play once a week. You play two two times a week, and you've got to get it up for both games. So, uh, you know, this tomorrow night is going to be a good preparation for us because you know our weekends are, 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 are double headers every weekend, and uh, we, we won one game. That's it. Um, we know that they're going to be a lot better tomorrow night, and we got to come ready, prepared to play tomorrow night. Got some goals early on in the first period. Was it a big lift for, for the team to go on and get, you know, that second and that third so soon afterwards? Yeah. You know, we've talked about the since we started playing well, trying to have a good first five minutes, good starts to our game. And if you look back the last few games, we've had some pretty good starts. Um, even at Michigan, where we gave up a goal, but we had a good start. We had some chances. So um, the guys are, are have responded in those first few first few minutes. And, and obviously with, uh, with tonight's game, you know, we got some breaks early, and we went to the net. So when you go to the net, that's that's a good thing. And we scored off. I was going to say, you know, it seemed like you guys were able to get in front of the net, and uh, you know, it seemed like they gave you some room, but you guys took advantage of that. And or some games you're going to get a lot of chances, but not actually finish. It seemed like you guys were just finishing everything else. Yeah, no, it, it, you know, it's one of those nights when pucks went in for us. You know, as you know, we've had a lot of good chances during the course of the year, and haven't been able to uh, capitalize and pucks were going in for us tonight. So, but when you go to the net, good things happen. And when we went to the net tonight, I thought pretty hard, and particularly in that first period. And we got pucks to the net. So, uh, you know, the shots again. You know, we'll get out shot in a lot of games. We're looking for quality of shots, and uh, uh, I thought for the most part we kept Notre Dame. Other than on the power play, we kept them to the outside on some of the shots. And uh, so, you know, we were happy with with our effort and capitalizing on the amount of shots that we had. goals tonight. We've had a good run of play recently. You know, what does it feel like to finally get back on the score sheet? Uh, well, you know, I started off pretty slow this year. There's not really getting much going on, so you know, it's nice to finally get on the scoreboard and have you know, a run of a couple of games getting points. So it's nice to help out and chip in for the team. I also feel like to win this kind of a game, obviously you haven't experienced it that much over the last couple of years. Scoring that many goals, having things go that well for you guys, how does it feel? It feels great. I mean, you're coming to a building like this, an atmosphere like this, and you know, the new building. They're, they got a good team over there. It's nice to uh, it's nice to get two points against these guys. Playing with uh, Ludwig and Ding, it seems like you guys have really started to click and, and click consistently. Yeah, I mean those two guys, they can uh, they can really help you out. And, you know, those guys are great. And, you know, they can find me wherever wherever I'm at. Those guys are good. And, you know, I enjoy playing with them. You know, I love to keep playing with them. Great How do you reset for tomorrow night? You know they're probably going to be coming up fire. Yeah, I mean they're they're they got a good team over there. They had a rough night. And they're going to come out hard tomorrow. They're going to come out harder than they did tonight. You know, we just need to be you know, businesslike and just come in tomorrow like we came in tonight and just try and play our game.